Hello everyone, my name is Raven and welcome to my Unity 3D tutorial series. In this particular tutorial we are going to talk about uh, scene management and organization. Now I'm sure someone else might have another way of managing the scene. Um, I actually have no idea. This might actually be the way everyone manages their uh, project. But eventually over here you see hierarchy is going to get utterly massive literally it's it's just going to get filled and it's not going to be very fun to scroll through uh, but there is a way to organize it and that is using empties so we're going to create an empty and I always make sure that the empty is at zero 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 now if it did that too fast um, I'm sorry the way to do that is game object create empty or control shift in and then you get this object which obviously is empty it's just a blank reference in the scene now I'm going to create a cube so game object create other and then cube and I'm gonna make sure that this one is also at 000, zero, zero. now I'm gonna jump this back over just to textured now I'm gonna control shift C and I'm going to just duplicate this just a few times Now as you can see over there on our left, when I'm selecting something in the scene viewport it highlights and you can also see that very rapidly our scene is starting to get quite, you know, this, this isn't fun to scroll through, especially when you have, you know, if you're working on a very large scene, it's just filled and cluttered and, you know, it's just not great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this to cubes and then I'm going to shift left click to select them all and I'm just going to left click drag and drop them in now as you can see absolutely nothing was changed on our outside oh sorry not on our outside but in our scene we can even still freely move everything the difference is is we now have a drop down tab and you know you can name this to a variety of things and this can be useful for much more but I figured I would cover this early on uh, I'll be using it a lot uh, one thing I'd like to mention that if you select cubes and you move this, um, all of them will change. Uh, we'll cover parenting and childs later. Um, but this is just a really good way to help organize your scene. Another very useful bit is say you had um, like decals and you had them all, you know, you could have them broken down into separate uh, empties as well uh, based on type and stuff. but you know say it was broken down and say you wanted to remove them from the scene to see the difference at what decals actually make to the scene over here in the inspector you'll see a checkbox if you click this box it will say deactivating game objects you wish to deactivate all, all child objects as well you can select only this game object and just the empty is deactivated and you can continue to you know everything nothing really changes okay but I'm going to activate only this. Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to deactivate this game object and all the children. Now, if you were, say, you know, working in a scene with, you know, all the decals, as I said with the example, they would all just immediately disappear and you could see the difference and you could just click the checkbox, turn it back on, activate children, and there's our cubes. Alright, so hope you guys learned a little bit about scene management in this tutorial. Uh, we'll cover more complex um, stuff on how to manage scenes and you know optimize it. But this is just one way to keep your hierarchy very neat and organized. If you have any questions, as usual, please stop by the forums or go on and hop on the IRC. And please follow me on Twitter if you'd like to keep up to date with what I'm working on and when the next tutorial will be going live. Thank you.